early morning, day three, uh, walking to the hospital from our apartments. It's about a 10 minute walk to get there. Mum's running behind me. Uh, the exact same thing once again today. Be sulfan for about an hour and a half and then they may check my bloods again for an amount of hours. Uh, I'm still feeling very good, very healthy. Unless, unless once again you can account thinking that my tiredness is a side effect, which it may or may not be. It's either, it either is a side effect or it's because I'm not getting as much sleep as I can due to the fact that I'm up all night editing my videos and um, responding to messages on Instagram and other social media platforms. So, yes, day three. I will try and get as much content as I can for today because I haven't actually shown you much of what's going on because the first day they were kind of like, ah, uh, we don't really want you to film. And the second day I slept through it. So today being the third day, I'll try and record as much stuff as I can because it is rather very interesting. And I think you are all luck to know exactly what's going on. But I think my body clock's finally, finally adjusting to the early mornings um, and I shouldn't be feeling as tired now however we'll see I'll be in, hosp in the hospital in about five minutes and I'll try and record all the happenings throughout the day so enjoy happening now is we had my blood taken probably about an hour ago now so they're getting the chemo ready for it to come into me pretty soon um, because it's day three they're doing the same thing as day one which is do my blood levels after the chemo goes through so I'll be here if I do it they take my blood as soon as the chemo is finished an hour and a half after it's finished and four hours after it's finished just to check the levels of it <clears throat> so I'll be in here for another five or six hours and then I'll get to go home on overnight leave I've just been I just ed, uh, uploaded my newest YouTube video here and just checking up on some things on Facebook and Instagram and getting all the other social media posts out um, which I will let you know what we're gonna try and do with this with this room very soon as it is currently looking rather dull and bland. So stay tuned. My chemotherapy busulfan which is cytotoxic. Cyto means cells, toxic means toxic, which means this drug is toxic to cells. In this bag there's only 256 milligrams of the actual drug in here, that's less than the gram, which puts into perspective of how actual potent the drug is. And if you work it out, 256 milligrams times about 7 or 8 days of having this drug equals less than 2 grams of the drug in total over this whole week. And I just find it fascinating how such a small amount of drugs 
is designed to kill off everything in my body ready for this transplant. Only two grams of drugs. Bear in mind that isn't taking into account the immunosuppressant drugs that I'm going to be having in about a week's time, about three days prior to the transplant. Here at the hospital they're constantly checking my blood to check for any irregularities and it's come back that my potassium is low, so they've given me this drink to get my potassium back up to normal. How are you doing? Throughout today's video you would have seen um, small 10 second snippets and they're actually taken from my Snapchat story um, because some people have asked me to on Snapchat to um, put out some stories out on my Snapchat story um, basically just show, telling everyone what's happening for the day instead of having to watch a whole YouTube video I just do the little snippets on Snapchat so if you haven't already jumped on that you can jump on that now it's just my name, James Kearsley. Um, the spelling is without any uppercase, lowercase, or one word. Exactly the same as my Instagram as well. So I was in the hospital from 8 a.m. till about 6 p.m. today because of that having to wait four hours for the, the blood levels test again. And once we were finished at the hospital, we went back to the apartments for a bit. I began editing my videos and then we went off to dinner down to the local pub here. Um, the thing I've, things I've experienced today could have been a bit nauseous at, at some stage or dizzy. However, I am being kind of pumped full of anti-nausea stuff whilst this stuff's going on. So I guess that's combating it as well. But I could tell that if I wasn't on these anti-nausea anti stuff, I probably would have felt a bit more sick today. Other than that, um, just some tiredness. I did fall asleep once again in hospital today after the, or during the or after the infusion. However, within that period of four hours waiting for those blood levels tests to be done, um, the nurses at the hospital just f weren't concerned, but they highlighted that I should be taking my temperature here at home but other than that today went really well still got a very good and very high appetite eating as much as I can and having to drink lots um, because obviously chemotherapy can impact your organs specifically the kidneys as such which is why drinking lots of water can help flush out all the nasty chemicals and um, chemotherapy stuff that really shouldn't be there um, flush that out through the kidneys instead so it gets the proper job done instead. <clears throat> so day five, oh sorry, day four is tomorrow. The exact same thing, same drugs. However, there isn't any of that, that blood level testing once again. Haven't experienced any stereotypical side effects as of yet. Things are still growing. My facial hair is still growing. You can even see my moustache is growing at a very rapid rate, which is astonishing. And in fact, my hair is still growing as well. Um, unfortunately, they're still going to fall out at some stage, apparently, or theoretically. But at this stage, just enjoying the healthy life before some of the rougher times take hold. Already subscribe for more if you are intrigued by my story. I would appreciate if you were to follow along with my story. There is definitely some interesting stuff to come ahead, and I'm very grateful to be able to share it with you all. So, thanks once again for watching. Have a good day.